I've always felt that the first step to any successful classroom management plan, or day of teaching for that matter, begins with building student relationships. And one of the best ways to build a positive classroom community is to create a culture of gratitude. But how do you teach gratitude? The answer is simple. You don't. You practice it. Hello, Marielle here, and today's teaching tip is all about my favorite zero prep gratitude activities. Today's video will show you five activities that will help students reflect on what it means to be thankful, and none of them involve glue or glitter. Check out the time codes below in the description box to help you focus on specific activities. But be sure to stay until the end where I show you how to level up number five with just a tiny bit of prep, like click this link and print out this worksheet kind of prep. Number one, appreciation, apology, aha. This awesome activity comes from Edutopia and is one of my favorites because it works for all age levels, allows every student to participate, and is quick enough to be done frequently. Begin by having students circle up so that everyone can face each other. Then each student shares an appreciation about someone or something, an apology to the individual or the group, or an aha moment from the day or lesson. I'll link Edutopia's video in the description box so that you can see it in action with a group of high school students. Number two, the unusual gratitude game. Begin by dividing students into groups of three or four. Let them know that you are going to share a topic and that their task is to work together to figure out two or three reasons why they are grateful about that topic. Now here's the plot twist. You're going to give them items that are not usually thought of as something we are grateful for. For example, here's my list. Chores, garbage, spiders, homework, and fear. Of course, the purpose is to look for elements of gratitude in unlikely topics, but I just love to hear the reasons students come up with. Number three, 10 minutes with Tab. I just love Tabitha Brown. She is an actress, an activist, a YouTuber, and just a really amazing energy. While her channel mostly focuses on lifestyle topics, she also posts amazing inspirational videos where she speaks directly to the camera and dispenses uplifting messages. And she is the perfect combination of loving mom and cool auntie vibes. I like to show her shorter videos that are around three minutes and have students spend five to 10 minutes reflecting on her message. I'll link my favorite video of hers about what it means to be quick to judge and what to do instead. Students can answer verbally or write in a journal about her main message or takeaway from her videos and what small act they can do to make a difference. Comment below with any other YouTube channels that have inspirational messages that you think the students would enjoy watching. All right, back to the list. Number four, gratitude tic-tac-toe. Begin by drawing a simple tic-tac-toe game on the front board. Then fill in the squares with things students can be grateful for. Here is a sample of the types of things that I like to write. There's topics like places they're grateful for, skills they're grateful for, etc. Put the students in pairs and have them draw a simple tic-tac-toe board on a piece of paper. Then they play, but before they can make their mark of the X or the O's, they have to answer the corresponding gratitude prompt. For example, before they write something in the top right square, they need to share something that makes them happy. Number five. 10 minutes to recognize the good stuff. This can take a little bit of super minimal prep. All you need to do is click the link in the description box and it'll take you to Christy Zimmer's blog. She has a ton of fabulous and free journal prompts that are designed in beautiful colors. My favorite one is the one titled 10 minutes to recognize the good stuff. Print one page for each student and let them fill it out by watching some mellow videos or listening to music. My favorite calming video is the Nature Sounds playlist from the YouTube channel Fairyland Cottage, which I'll link in the description box. Interested in more tips about building classroom community? Then check out this video that will show you why I ditched the bell work and now I start my class with this activity instead. It's also practically zero prep and will never ever ever include glitter. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time with another quick and nerdy tip all about teaching, technology, and time management. See you then.